Okay, so Priyanka will be starting over. Priyanka, are you ready? Yeah, so am I audible? Yeah, I'll share my screen. Okay, okay sure. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, Priyanka, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Anita. So uh, hello everyone and welcome to today's session on serverless solution use case hosted by Peltor Solutions. Here we'll discuss uh, how you can build a solution use case leveraging the horizontal or industry vertical solutions from SCD. Uh, let me quickly give you a brief about us. We are advanced tier partners of AWS. We provide software development and we are a consulting firm based out of India, New Zealand and Australia and US. We cater to clients across the globe. Now, I would like to introduce today's presenters. That will be me, Priyanka Shivasta. I am an AWS expert from the Peritos team. And of course, our director, Peritos Solutions, Vinita Kaskevar. She'll be sharing more details and uh, she'll be giving the de demos during the webinar. Uh, now, uh, let me take you through uh, today's agenda. So it will be like serverless market. We'll talk about uh, serverless market opportunity, AWS serverless technology overview. Uh, I think Vinita, we can go a slide back, please. Oh, thank you. So uh, then what customers are building through AWS serverless solution use case, industry specific solution place. And of course, we'll have the Q&A section. Uh, yes. OK, uh, as you see, talking about serverless solutions, so uh, this is all part of a bigger movement. We are in the middle of a paradigm shift. Cloud providers automate the abstract away as much as possible, which is in the direct support of what business leaders want to build better products and with more customers in IT. And our ability to do uh, that at a rapid pace has improved significantly with infrastructure as a code. CICD pipelines with automatic uh, automated security and compliance and serverless. So as leaders, we must find a way to emerge from our clients state uh, skill sets and organization uh, structures in support of our business objectives like AWS also quotes that 62% of enterprises have adopted serverless and the number is growing rapidly. These are the perks of winning customers by using serverless like decoupling software systems, focusing on business logics, etc. OK, by our customers building with a serverless first strategy. So these are the reasons customers are adopting a, for a serverless strategy and which are aligned to what customers are looking for. And these are also the areas where we put the most investment, like save up to 80% of the maintenance and approximately 70% of development when adopting a serverless first strategy for building modern applications. Customers can save up to 57% in TCO, when they switch for, from servers like EC2 to AWS Lambda. Customers uh, today, 87% of Lambda's usage is net new AWS compute usage, or it is net positive compute usage that in, uh, initiates more overall fit in other AWS services and application that uh, any compute can replace. AWS is fortunate to have maybe uh, have thousands of years of engineering experience building applications in the cloud, and we have learned even more from our customers. And we use all this experience to bake into our services the lessons we have learned about building in the cloud. Uh, we take the things that are common across the, all cloud applications and build them into our services in a way that they completely disappear, so you don't have to think about them, or at least uh, we make them as simple as possible to use and control. So there are four key areas where we always in, uh, are innovating to try to provide those simple, powerful capabilities. As you see, uh, agility uh, to help developers and operators to move fast. Next one is performance to support as many workload as possible. Uh, next one, the low cost as they follow your usage and built in conti uh, continuously improving security. So here in serverless computing, uh, you can see uh, command-driven and event-driven. So these are the common 
architecture that we have in serverless computing command driven architecture operates on explicit user initiated requests or commands triggering specific functions like lambda to execute based on user actions on the other hand if you see for event driven architecture it responds to events like file uploading uploading database update triggering corresponding lambda functions allowing automated scalable and effective efficient execution without explicit user, user commands So now here you see the modern, app, uh, modern application architecture that typically, uh, typically consists of three essential, uh, essential layers. First one is presentation layer. Uh, this layer focuses on user interaction and interface design, ensuring a seamless user experience. It involves components like UI UX designs, web pages or mobile app screens. Next layer will be business logic layer. Here the core application logic resides encompassing algorithms, calculations, and rules that define the application's behavior and functionalities. And last one will be the data layer. This layer manages data storage, retrieval, and manipulation. It includes databases, data models, and APIs, enabling the application to interact with and manage various types of data. So uh, Lego uh, is a notable adopter of serverless computing, utilizes an event-driven design for Lambda functions. Events like uh, user interactions on their online pro platforms trigger specific Lambda functions, facilitating real-time responses and streamlined processes. This approach allows Lego to efficiently scale its application, manage bursts of traffic during product launches, and enhance overall user satisfaction by providing a seamless and responsive user experience. So these are the few examples that enterprises are achieving results at scale of AWS serverless. So if you see, uh, uh, there are, uh, we have taken few companies names like Compass. They have built an integrated experience with Netflix in just four months, which enabled their teams to move faster and attract the build, uh, best talent while uh, they were also doing the cost cutting. Same for Capital One, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Animity. They have been also following the same, and almost they have uh, saved around less than four months, and uh, their cost has also gone down. So if we talk about Capital uh, Capital One, it has around uh, it has reduced the time to build up new application infrastructure by more than 99%. McDonald's less than four months scales to 20,000 orders per second with less than 100 meters latency, then Coca-Cola migrated integrated communication systems. It has also reduced cost over 65% while they have increased requests over three times to 80 million calls per month. And NMT also with uh, cost of analysis by 90% and time of analysis by 95%. So why is AWS serverless useful for innovating and building event-driven and distributed systems? So well, serverless uh, consolation to manage service, services that can in, uh, intro. Am I audible? Hello? Yeah. Okay, sorry. So uh, I'll start over again, sorry. I thought I was not audible. Well, uh, serverless uh, consolation of managed services that can intro together to build complex, highly scalable workloads. These pieces allow a lot of flexibility and rich businesses logic without the uh, need to always write code for plumbing or manage underlying infrastructure. The serverless mindset is one of leveraging managed services and the seamless integration between them. The integration is incredibly useful to building message oriented, event driven and streaming services and systems in the enterprises and beyond. Now we'll focus on examining how to use serverless uh, for all these use cases that we discussed here. So why serverless? So this growth of serverless is because of, uh, it is helping to make your job easier. With a serverless operating model, you delegate well architecture fundamentals to AWS. So you can have automatically scale, you can do automatically scales up and uh, downward demand leverages, uh, lamp, uh, leverages build in reliability and security, reduces cost and pay as you go usage and it is easy to use. So these are the benefits of going serverless. 
So if you're interested in, in learning more, so these are a few uh, URLs that we have kept here. You can uh, uh, have a look and you can uh, click on these and get more information about serverless. We can maybe share this after the uh, in the last part of the event. Uh, now, uh, what are the partner benef benefits of building a serverless offering? So you get funding, go to market solution space, then we have pipeline buildings and trainings. So uh, Vinita will be discussing more on this, so about the fundings and all. So uh, majorly uh, what we discussed, so we'll have a demo as well with Vinita. So now I would request uh, Vinita to please take more from here. Yeah, thanks Priyanka. OK, so um, there are some examples that she's already shared with you uh, on what you could do with uh, Lambda as a use case. Uh, there are further examples that I'm also going to share, but essentially the architecture a happy path looks like below. You have an API layer, you have a storage layer, a notification layer, business logic, and then the data gets sent to the front end. And you can see that there are multiple Lambdas that are implemented in this architecture. And it's a combination of uh, serverless compute technology uh, that helps developer to build critical mission critical applications for um, that's our that is even cost effective. So these are some of the benefits of using or going via a partner. Uh, these are AWS specific fundings. You get 60K cash. Uh, as a partner, we uh, understand your use case. We understand how it works. And obviously, their terms and conditions apply. But if your Lambda consumption is, uh, let's say, up to 100K something, then to just deliver the project, the implementation efforts are negated by the AWS team. And you can get up to 60K USD on a case-to-case ca -case basis. There's also a 15K USD cash for, again, um, light assessments and mobilizations that you could do for smaller automated scale solutions that are needed for the business. So it's important you identify what exactly you guys are doing in terms of your uh, current uh, businesses or maybe the jobs that you are doing with AWS and how Lambda can be utilized, which helps you to build a use case. And then we can put it ahead in front of AWS and get from our support. We'll try our best to secure funding for our customers. So these are some more fundings that are available. Like you can get 10% of the first year of uh, AWS consumption, which is maximum of 25K. There's also a POC funding, which is for smaller projects. So if you're just trying to build a use case, which is maybe a unique one for your business or just a unique one industry specific solution. So AWS can fund you to build that particular application on the cloud. Okay, this, um, the demo today would basically uh, comprise of uh, e-commerce industries uh, solution. We work with a lot of e-commerce retail clients and they have a very difficult time managing their images. A seller will upload the product images to an uh, S3 bucket. So currently what happens, the use cases uh, where you want to upload a set of images, which has to meet a specific standard uh, because they have to be a set dimension. You also need to put a watermark. Otherwise, there's a chance that it may be plagiarized or someone else may use your product images or it may just be available for free download on Google. So to avoid all that, generally the customer, what they do manually is they add a watermark to the image. They try to classify the image in different folders so they can know which images for which product category. And they also store the images in uh, different uh, like in case of different specifications, they have to store images of different sizes for a particular product if they have to, let's say, upload in Amazon or maybe upload in some other retail platform. So today uh, we will basically be showing you, let me show you a Lambda use case that we've built. This is for demo image analysis. So you create a Lambda and there's a very basic uh, coding that you need to know, and it supports multiple code structures. So let's look at, okay, so let's look at what this code does. It's basically reading the image from an S3 bucket. So we upload all the images in an S3 bucket. We use a service called Amazon Recognition, which detect the labels or 
try to identify the image in different categories. It also identifies, um, let's say, if you have like a specific moderation for the image that you need, you can add that. Like it should not be showing any text or maybe it should not be of, uh, a, let's say, a specific size. You can add those kind of moderation. You can print the images and resize them as needed, which will then tell the system that all images should be resized of a particular struct um, width and maybe a pixel size. Uh, once this is done, you put a watermark. So in this, I'm just adding a simple text called watermark, and I am converting this image using image recognition uploaded on S3 into a new S3 bucket, which is called the processed image bucket, as you see here. And when this image bucket processes the image, you get the final image automatically. Now, this is all serverless, so it doesn't have to be running all the time. As soon as the image comes in, you are ready with the images. The number of images that it processes, that's what the compute cost would be. So what I do here is I will be showing you my S3 buckets. So this is my S3 bucket. And let me upload an image here. Of let's say a particular. Back that I've added. Once I have done this, I'll click on upload. Image is loaded successfully, as you can see here. We go back to the Lambda. And I refresh it. Now you also want to know, like whenever I upload an image, it automatically detects the content of the image. Like the previous image I had, it had got box and cardboard, cartoon, food, sweets, etc. So it recognizes that currently it's just doing. Um, And yeah, see, it's reading the image, drawing the image after drawing the text, saves the image again. And now it comes in the different S3 bucket. So I go to a new S3 bucket, which is the demo processed image bucket. And it may just take a while. Yeah, so here you see the back image. And when I open it, you can see the watermark and the image here. So if I show you the original image that I uploaded. Look like this. And the new image has got a watermark text and a slightly. If you can figure out it's slightly uh, smaller. Yeah, to match the standard of let's say a retail platform like maybe Amazon or maybe Flipkart or something else that the retailer wants. So this saves ton of time and it helps a particular um, from the retail side, the uh, business owner to understand how this can be automated and a, for a lot of further use cases can be built out of this. So this is like a simple demo that we prepared. Uh, this case can be further added with multiple more uh, rules and uh, let's say like categorizing into different objects, buckets, adding tags to the images, also uploading it directly on, let's say, a Amazon platform via APIs and all that. So you can help like build a proper use case and uh, use AWS Lambda for those kind of services. I just want to go back to my PPT here. OK, so. Coming back here to the PPT. So we discussed all this, the demo scenario. Now, if you guys are interested, you can register and send an email at this ID. We'll be sharing the deck as well with you. If you have a use case currently, you can just uh, text us message on this chat group. Uh, and we are happy to take a maximum of three registration on the spot. And th those will be qualified 
um, and we will be uh, we prefer people talk to us during the event. It helps the event to be interactive as well as we secure your position to be the top three on the list that we get. Uh, you can also share your use case via email if it's confidential and we are happy to help you build uh, or maybe create a small POC just the way we did here. Any particular service implementation or existing workload assessment that you need us to do? Maybe you are already an AWS customer and uh, you want to see if your lambdas are optimized or not. You want to discuss about like how you can save using lambdas or just a well architect review, etc. You can again uh, discuss those things also with us. So the way this works is you get onboarded, you sign off um, and agree for us to proceed ahead to present your case to the AWS team. Then you can decide whether you want to proceed with or without the funding. The work delivered by AWS as well as the Peritos team. And once we get the sign off, you can then um, yeah be ready with the work that we deliver. In the upcoming sessions, we continue to discuss more about how cloud computing and serverless can be used in terms of improving your business and managing your business better. Social media moderation is one of the important aspects where you can moderate whatever is posted onto your uh, social media channels. Amazon recognition will detect content that's inappropriate, unwanted, or maybe offensive, and it will trigger an email to the admin team or whoever your marketing team is. And they will get to know that immediately instead of you know figuring that out manually themselves. And another use case that we'll discuss is the chatbot using Lex and Lambda. So if you want to book a trip or hotel or anything, you can route the customer to the right department and identify sales qualified lead versus a general user. Now, uh, this may be more applicable from again a retail or um, travel industry specific, but this one is more generic use case for all businesses. Uh, yep, that's all. If you guys have questions, please do let us know. Uh, we are happy to take up any specific questions, case scenarios, or anything that we can help you with. Uh, Surak, you can take over. Um, if there's no question, then we can maybe close the session. If there are still any messages that you want to send us for your use case or you have anything else, you can reach out to us later as well. Great, I think there is no more questions in the chat box. Um, hence, we can wind up the today's session. OK, thank you. And uh, we look forward to discussing more about how AWS serverless and computing technologies can be used to streamline your business better and uh, make leverage of AWS specific services. So we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.